Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. This channel is about me documenting my funding journey in a slight bit of drawdown at the minute, but hopefully we have a good week this week. Some good trades looking like they could line up. So if I get any entries, I'll show you. I'll be following along with the community that I've joined this week. If you guys didn't know already, I've just joined a community. Hopefully that can fast forward my learning because I'm around people that are actually making consistent money. Some of them are funded in there. So hopefully if I take some of the trades they take or even some losses that they take, I know that I'm on the right path. Also, like I said, you guys know I joined a community, but I've also meeting up one of my mates. He's a trader, he trades for a while. He's been funded before. Um, so it's also important to meet up with people that are actually on the same path as you, people that want the same things as you. So about to meet up with him. At least we've got uh, risk entry, confirmation entry, and double confirmation entry. As soon as we break the low in here one minute, I'm gonna wait for retest in the same zone in the fair value gap that we created already. And then I'm gonna enter. So the main pair on watch today that I'm looking at is Australian dollar CAD. If we get an entry for that, I'll let you guys know. Let me show you what I'm looking at. It's Australian dollar CAD. As you can see on this daily, I like this daily time frame. You can see breakout higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. Pull back to this area. Two days or three days deceleration, doji candles. Then we got the bullish engulfing yesterday. So we'll be looking for the continuation to the upside. So when we scale into the lower time frames, the one hour, again, you can see we're making lower lows, lower highs. This was the downward move. De sort of decelerated breakout. So now we'll be looking for the pullback. If I put the fib on, draw the fib from this extreme low to the extreme high, it's now looking to be out, out, line, uh, out of line, which is a problem. But we would be looking for the break and retest of the one hour and four hour 50, which is the entry type and entry strategy that we have. The negatives are, it seems to be going off without us. So sometimes that happens. The, the bias is correct or looking to be correct that the, this move is likely to continue. But in order for it to get an entry into this position, we need a pullback around about now because if we continue going up, everything's going to be out of line from the pivot, the one hour and four hour 50. Quick one, guys. If you get value from these videos, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. The more people that like, comment and subscribe, the more viewers are going to see these videos. It's more going to get out to more people. And we need more people seeing this true journey, the real side of trading, a normal guy trying to progress, trying to get funding and showing the wins, losses and the lessons learned. So if you guys get value, all I ask, like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. So as you can see in the community, we've just uploaded a weekly insights video. So he's gonna be showing, breaking down the things he's looking at. And I'm gonna compare it to my watch list. And if I have the similar trades as him, then it's a positive because he's obviously consistently profitable. Anything that I have on watch that he doesn't, I'm gonna be asking questions, why? Why do I have it and he doesn't? Is it lower probability? Is it something that I've not seen? So yeah, I'm gonna sit and watch that. As you guys become older and get through your career, you'll realize that less time is actually a good thing. You can pursue your other passions, you can enjoy the free time. Quality high setups over and over again is the beneficial way to be trading. So that's kind of what I thought about the last few weeks. And I so I've just watched the insights video pretty much had similar pairs on watch, which is a positive sign because obviously if I had lots of different opportunities, then there could be reasons for concern why do i have that and he doesn't but a couple of them that i had which i'm going to relook at because he didn't he didn't have them on watch so if i've got them on watch are they lower probability and he explained why he didn't have them on watch but yeah i'm going to probably sit and watch a few more bit of the content a few more trades um we're looking to be quite a slow week these are the weeks where you need to sit on your hands because although there can be opportunities and you can force opportunities sometimes the best trade is no trade sometimes it's best to allow your edge to play out and in order for it to play out you've got to sit there on your hands because your edge isn't going to appear all the time if it appeared all the time you'd be taking trades every day most of the time people that are trading every day not always but most of the time they're going to be taking lower probability setups and forcing entries and it's going to amount to one percent loss or you're going to have a losing streak so if anything else develops for this week i'll let you know one of the biggest takeaways i've got from being in this community is sometimes, I'm not sure if you guys have felt the same, I felt always the need to want to enter positions or be in trades because in life, at school, at a job, you always have to feel like you're doing something otherwise you get told off or you feel like you're not being productive. But it's the opposite with trading. Sometimes the best trade is to not trade. If your entry doesn't present, if you're, you don't have a good bias and it's a low probability setup, the best trade is no trade because you need to sit on your hands and wait and be patient. But that's extremely difficult. It's all good in theory but in practicality it's a lot more difficult because you feel like you want to be trading i'm not sure if you guys have felt the same but by being in this community and realizing this week so far he hasn't took any positions and i haven't took any positions it's made me think okay i'm actually doing something right by not trading i could have forced some positions that were lower probability setup that are lower probability setup 
but due to the fact I'm down 8% on the account, I need to make sure I'm taking higher probability setups. And so also got pound Australian dollar on watch, as you can see. It's a good setup, but I'm also concerned about a few negative confluences. But as you can see, we're sort of ranging double top here, break down lower low. So we're looking upon this bearish engulfing for the continuation of the downsides. As you can see on the hourly, um, trending up, this was the move to the upside. We've sort of triple topped, break down, broke below this low, pull back. We're pulling back to the area of value, the 0.382, the one hour 50. The only concern, oh, which you, also you can see we're at the pivot. So my entry would be a breakdown below this because we're rejecting the pivot, 0.382. The reason what is keeping me out of this position is if you look at this four hour, it looks bullish. Breakout, higher high, higher low. So this is the concern because we've, we've rejected the four hour. So although the one hour and daily look nice and the five minute looks nice, the four hour, we had this bullish engulfing at six in the morning. So it's concerning. We still technically broke below these lows, but it just offers lower probability. So I had a few questions and comments about whether it's actually worth joining the community. Now it is difficult and it's hard to say because there are a lot of communities out there that aren't, don't have your best interests at heart. They don't have proven results. And at the minute, it's only been a week that I've been in this community, but I have noticed a lot of improvement um, just by being around like-minded people, as I mentioned. Also, it's good that we're all trading the same style. So it's like we're looking at the same pairs, the same opportunities and for me, I'll obviously update you in the coming weeks and months of how I feel, but at this moment in time, I actually, it's been helping massively just tuning into the live webinars, tuning into looking at the recap videos, looking at the education, it's helping me. But again, you have to be extremely careful because there are people that don't have your best interests at heart. So do your due diligence. I mean, the reason why I joined this community is because I knew this guy, I've traded with him before back in 2018. And also they're not online promoting flashy like Lamborghinis and Rolex watches. He's very low key. He's not trying to get people in through, you know, marketing on Instagram to try and get, attract your attention. So, so far, so good. Again, I'll keep you updated and it's exciting being part of it. Um, but so far, I think it's worth it for me. I've enjoyed it so far. It's helped me improve, helped me stay disciplined and dedicated. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how it develops in the future, but so far I'm happy. Just executed the short, as you would have seen, um, I was looking for shorts. We'll see how this plays out. Slight problem, guys. As you would have seen, I've just executed that position. I've just looked at the FTMO rules and realized that I can't hold trades over the weekend. So I might have to close this one down early. I don't want to violate any rules and lose my account. But yeah, I just realized I don't have the FTMO swing accounts. If I hold this over the weekend, I could breach some of the rules. So I'm going to have to close this down early. Silly error on my behalf, guys. Obviously, I should have known that I should, can't hold trades over the weekend. You need the swing account. But when I executed it, I thought, oh, it's fine. I, I assumed I could, but again, only took a small loss, nothing drastic, not gonna affect the account. Really, really small, but yeah, not too much on the cards now. It's been a very slow week. Like I said, and mentioned this video and, and I've said a lot, it's about patience, sitting on your hands, waiting for opportunities. Um, it's been a very slow week. Hopefully, usually when you have a slow week, there's a bigger week the next week because in the slower weeks, everything's developing. It's, it's developing for entries. So yeah, stay tuned for next week's video. Um, again, documenting the whole funded account, the ups and downs, the wins and losses. One of the only real people out there that are actually showing the true side of trading. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the support on all the videos. It means a lot. Let's try and get to 4,000 subscribers. We're close. But yeah, appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.